Hey guys, so um, a few people asked me about different jobs I did while I was in Japan. So like the different teaching jobs that I did. Um, there's a few different routes you can go down if you um, come to Japan to teach. The first one I would say would probably be JET, which majority of that you have to get from where you're staying. I don't think it's an American based thing. If I'm correct, you can come from different sides of the world because they get like different people and they gather them together but for jet you just apply and then as long as you can get in which is the the acceptance rate i heard for jet is very very low like three percent or something that like that but the reason why a lot of people want to go through jet is because jet like pays for all your um your rent i think even your utilities if i'm correct so you don't even have to pay for any of that, which obviously that helps a lot of people, especially if you're just out of college and you're trying to save to pay off your loans or something like that. Or if you just want to come to Japan and have fun and now you don't even have to pay for rent, so you just got more fun money. <laughs> you know, so a lot of people try to do the jet route. Um, but um, it's just hard to get into. There's like a lot of different things you have to do. Like all things, like for all jobs, you'd pretty much have to get like letters of recommendations you would have to apply at a certain time, depending on when you want to actually come. You have to go through a series of interviews, and as long as you pass all that, then you can get into JET. But like just getting an interview, I heard, is like the chances of getting one is very, very low. But I mean, I guess I understand because like they're paying for all your stuff, so they're only going to pick people they want to pick, obviously, because they're already doing so much for you. So if they don't really want you, I guess that's they're not going to pick you but um when i was coming the first time my friend was still in school but then i i went back to america and then she came here she said that two people from her university went which is usually rare if i'm correct because the like it's hard to get somebody from like the same city like since America is so big to um, go with you and she was like two people from her college which was her and somebody else came to Japan through jet which obviously she loved it because she didn't have to pay for her, like her utilities and stuff like that and her rent and um, she was able to save for paying off college and so forth there is the only difference between jet and what I do now which is ALT is that jet is called FLT which is um, a foreign language teacher but um, the ALT is called an assistant language teacher, ALT. They do the same thing. <laughs> they, they go to public schools and then they help out teachers. Pretty much you're like, well, no. Actually, I th if, you're, um, if you go through JET, you're the foreign language teacher. So you teach the language for the class. But if, you're, if you go through ALT, you're assistant language teacher. So you assist the teacher even if you're not really assisting the teacher. <laughs> I mean, um, I do shogako and chugako, which means I do elementary and I do middle school. But um, for elementary, I don't have anybody that helps me. I do it all by myself. So I go into class. I have my flashcards ready. I have the grammar and words for the day. The words are usually on the flashcards. And I just go up there and then I just teach. The teacher who I'm supposed to be assisting is probably either cleaning or grading papers. Sometimes they pay attention, but majority of the time they look like they're kind of dozing off or like they're just in their own little world probably thinking about something else like yes i get a free period which some have told me before like yes i'm glad you get to come today because i get a free period to like think <laughs> you know i'm like oh okay but um because they don't really know english anyway so they can't really teach it uh, which is like a different thing about Japan, which is not so good. But I mean, that's that's a totally different topic. So I'll talk about that another time. But um, if you come through JET, they're paying for all your stuff. So you get to go to school, you teach. And for JET, for JET you don't have to wear like a suit. So you get to wear the jumpsuit like everybody else. You can wear your jeans. Because um, my friend said he used to wear jeans and a shirt. I mean, pretty much you're like the other teachers. The only thing is that um, usually teachers, they dress up in suits. They go to school. So it's just like 
whatever. Like, even if I live, like, here and school's, like, here. I dress up in my suit, walk right here, and then I go inside, take the suit off to put on a jumpsuit, you know, and then I teach in that all day. And then just when I'm about to leave, which is probably, like, 10, 12 hours later, then I get back in the suit and walk, you know, less than two meters home. And then take that off, probably, and put back on you know, probably another jumpsuit, <laughs> you know, or like pajamas or whatever. But it's just the appearance because um, Japan is like a business like type of atmosphere. So like even if you're a teacher, you dress up to go to school, even if you're not going to be in that kind of suit all day. It's kind of weird. I don't understand the point of it. Like if you're going to walk to school or if you're just going to drive to school or whatever, just to take it off then to put it back on it it really doesn't make any sense i mean i mean i guess two or three people saw you but like they know you're a teacher they know that you're wearing that suit probably for like two seconds or something like that so i don't i don't see the point in it but um you know that's pretty much how it is but if you're in jet you get to wear whatever you want to pretty well i, I won't say whatever you want to because i'm sure there's still a little bit of restrictions but if you're an alt which i am you're in your you're in a suit and you're in a suit all day. So when you're playing with the kids, you're in a suit. Like I mean, like oh, can you play dodgeball with me? Yeah, I mean, like I I can't do none of the things I want to do. Like I'm I'm not trying to rip my pants or anything, you know. Like like oh my god, <laughs> you know. But like um like all that stuff. I mean I. So, like today, I had a marathon. I mean, they're preparing for marathons, right, at, at all elementary schools. So I go up in there and then um, the principal today is like, do you want to run with the children? She's like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But she wasn't kidding. <laughs> she wasn't kidding. She wanted me to run with the um, students. So I was like, oh, God. I was like, okay. I don't mind running with them because, I mean, I like working out. But, like, I didn't bring a change of clothes. So I was like, I don't really want to run in this suit. I mean, I took off the jacket and my tie, but I'm just like, <sighs> I'm like, okay. And, like, after that, I, w I was super sweaty. Like, my whole dress shirt was all wet. My legs was wet. It felt so uncomfortable walking after that. You know, they say, oh, you're so fast. I'm like, oh, thank you. But I'm just like, I just feel so disgusting right now. I didn't, I didn't have a change of clothes. But, you know, like that stuff. So it, it it's kind of hard when they, they, you know, oh, yeah, please play with the kids. Please do this. Like, I wouldn't mind doing all that. But, like, can I be in a jumpsuit like the teachers? Can, can I be in some shorts or something? Like, why do I all, why do I have to be in a suit, you know? So that that's I think that's the biggest downfall of being an AOT is that they want you to wear a suit all day and it kind of makes no sense like the teacher's not in suits it's just you. Sometimes the teachers are like you don't want to like dress down and I'm just like well I mean I would love to but you know a company policy we're supposed to or whatever. So I'm like yeah, whatever. But um if you're an FLT or if you go through JET, then you don't really have to do that. I think that's the only, well, that's the second biggest difference. Because if if I'm correct, if you're an FLT, you run the class. So, like, if people are um, unbehaving or something like that, that's your job, too. You know, you have to tell them, like, to stop, knock it off, which happens so much. Because Japanese kids, I don't know. I, I mean, I haven't been to school in a long time, but I, all the classes I was in were, they were, like, the teachers were, like, on it so like there was no people like acting up you know but um yeah that happens a lot in japan like a lot a lot like to the point where i'm just like wow we're just not learning anything today i guess but um you like take care of that but if you are an alt you can't do any of that i mean you could tell them to kind of like oh please stop kind of thing but any like 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 if people are fighting or something like that you can't you're not supposed to, at least, like, get involved with that. You have to let the main teacher do that, even though pretty much they don't do that either. They let them pretty much just beat up on each other, I feel like. I mean, I've never seen, like, a huge fight or something like that, but, like, I've seen some people do stuff. I'm just like, and I try to say something, but then I'm just like, man, I'm not supposed Like, it's just, I don't really like that part either too much because, like, you're supposed to not say too much because you don't want the company to get involved or whatever with a dispute with the parents saying like oh 
the foreign teacher says something to my child or whatever, stop or whatever. Well, he was hitting Cindy, whatever, <laughs> you know, but like, yeah, that kind of stuff. So we're not allowed to. So pretty much if you go through jet, you know, you get to wear whatever you want to. And then on top of that, you're in charge of your own class, which at is at a public school, not like ACO or anything like that, you know, or English conversation for those that don't know what ACO is. Um, but ALT, you're, you're the assistant language teacher. You're supposed to be behind pretty much the teacher, even if, like I said, I teach all my classes. Like even at my Chugako or middle school, I teach that. And majority of time, you're kind of like just there really for assistance. Like if the teacher says, please say cat, you just say cat. And then you finish and then you just sit there for the rest of the 45 minutes, you know. But me, at, only at my school, uh, well, not only at my school, but at my school at least, I, I teach it. So, like, test and all that stuff, I do it. So that 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 part depends on um, the school you get into or whatever, or the school that uh, Interact gives you. But um, if it's not, if it's not, like, you know middle school or high school which is the more types of parroted if you are parrot parroted parrot <laughs> the kind of um parrot jobs so like if you're there for like middle school or high school majority of the time is probably like please say vacation please say cat please say dog and you just say that and then you just listen to the class whatever the teacher says in japanese trying to teach it in english through japanese kind of thing and then you're just there. But me, um, if you get a school like me, then you actually teach it. So I actually teach it, the um, tests and so forth. Like anything I want to come up with, pretty much I can come up with. But then a, as an interact associate, you have, you know, a specific thing that they want you to do, which is pretty much game, 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 game. And then sometimes I feel like they're not learning too much because I feel like it's too much games, but you know, it's whatever. So I think those are the biggest differences. Um, besides the fact that Jet pays for all your stuff, you're your own teacher. As an ALT through Interact, which I'm working under right now, I never worked for Jet or I never went with Jet because it was hard to get into so I didn't too much one and waste my time, I guess at the time. Um, and plus when I came the first time, it was just through school anyway. So, um, there's that, but like as an ALT now, you have to wear a suit all the time. So if you don't really too much care for suits or if you don't want to be a suit all day, maybe you might not too much care for it. Um, and you're the assistant language teacher, even if, if you're doing elementary school for sure, you're probably teaching your whole class. So there is that too. And then the third one would be Eikawa, which there's a lot of those. English conversation. I mean, they're pretty much private, kind of like private institutions. I wouldn't say school, but like at through like, you know, like the Eikawas, you can meet like tons of different people. The conversation sometimes can be really good though, um, because like you can go in there and then you probably have a session with maybe like, um, well, how would you say that? Like, uh, stay at home moms. And then maybe next you probably have like salary men because everybody comes in at certain times. Usually salary men take breaks at kind of like the same time. So they probably go with all three of their friends because they all, they have to learn English for the company or whatever. And they all come together and then they sit in, then you get to hear what they're trying to say. And then you have the moms you know, the stay-at-home moms, you get to hear what they're trying to say, and then you have, like, the elderly people who, they don't really have too much to do anymore, so they're, they're trying to, like, learn English, because I didn't get to learn English before, or they're probably already good at English, but they, they need something to do, because the only thing they do is probably shop, and then they do, like, maybe, like, some sports as, like, tennis or swimming or something during the day, but then they also want to still keep, keep their English, like, brushed up, so they um come to and then besides that you can have some kids sometimes which at that point is kind of probably like a juku for the kids or like an after school program or just um yeah or an after school program but on like a saturday or something like that where they come in and they you know they actually 
I don't know. The ones that I had, they actually want to learn English, though. So um, I had a conversation about that recently, you know, with the teacher. But I want to put that in my next blog, so I'll leave that out. But um, the private institutions like that, like, since it's private, it, you know, when they actually go or when they actually send, generally, they actually want to learn the language, you know, or their parents has a keen interest in it. So their parents probably know some English, too. So they but they want their kids to be better or something like that. So you get that better feel to it because everybody wants to learn. So it makes you, I don't know, to me, for somebody who likes teaching, you know, to somebody that wants to learn, it makes it that much better because you're like, yes, they really want to learn. As in a public school, that one's kind of wish-washy. You have people that want to learn and then you just probably have a lot of people that just don't want to learn. And they're probably only going to pay attention to when you say game. If you don't say game, they're just like, so Yuki, what you do yesterday? <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So that that's you know that's its own thing. But if you're coming here to teach, there's only those three. You can either be like an A Kaiwa, you can um do like an ALT, or you can do like an um work through Jet and become an FLT. Obviously, there is the regular teacher if you want to actually come here as a regular teacher, but you need to know Japanese, obviously, um, because I mean, I, well, I mean, in America, you don't. And like when you, when I came here to learn Japanese, you didn't. But um, if I'm correct, you have to know Japanese because I talked to a principal about it one time. But she knew that I was working on Japanese and she really liked me um, when I was doing my, what, like side, not a side job, but I used to go help out at schools when I was um, here the first, the first time around a few years back. So she really liked me, but like... Um, yeah, I talked to a teacher that was actually an English teacher and he was from America. He said, yeah, you have to know Japanese like fluently. You have to be able to write a certain to a certain degree. So if you're not too good at writing, you may want to get better at like kanji and so forth, you know, because you have to like help out every once in a while. When you write your own documents for being a, a teacher at that school, obviously, you need to know how to do some kanji stuff like that but if you want to be a real teacher yeah you need to really actually try to learn the language but if you're just coming here probably as like uh i, I need something to do after school uh, you know you just graduated from like college or whatever like a lot of people do and they want to travel the world then you're probably gonna majority of the time probably go through interact and become an alt or probably just go through some kind of a kawa company like Eon or um, Nova, GABA or any of those, you know, Berlitz, you know, any of those like different um, like private schools, you'll probably go through any of those. The JET one, you would have to generally apply through that through school, if I'm correct. If not, it's probably a lot harder. But obviously, the only other thing is if you're trying to come here, you obviously need a degree. If you don't have a degree, then you can't actually come teach. But that's for any any country you go through. If you want to go to China, if you want to go to Korea, you need a degree. So for those that do want to come and teach in the future or you've always wanted to try out Japan, you don't know how to get there, and then you're thinking about, like, you know, learning some Japanese or you just always want to come to Japan because that's a lot of people, too, that oh, I'm not really here to teach. I'm here to just have fun kind of people <laughs> but um like if you you know any of those you know then you could just come through like interact or you know any of the other private schools that i mentioned like nova Berlitz, gaba and um aeon and so forth and um through there you can just come teach and uh the process i want to say for jet is a lot longer it was like if i'm correct like a year and then you have to go through like um certain processes like all jobs like a regular job if for a company in america and you know probably not like toys r us or something but like a real company you know and then for interact i applied in like july applied in july i heard back in october i had my interview in november well, the, the, um, I had a phone interview in November and then I had an actual interview in December and then they told me I got in like a few weeks later, 
like close to January, like the middle of January, maybe. And then from there, you know, like since you apply in July, it will depending if you want to start during the school year, which school years in Japan start in March, you apply in July or whatever, which I think was kind of like the end for me because I think they open it during the summer and then you have to apply to get in for the next um, start of the year. And I think I applied at the at the end, like when it was about to close, like in July or something. But that's, you don't have to, you can apply at any time. And as long as they have like a place to put you, like if somebody left early because they didn't like Japan or um, if they just quit their job and found something else or something and they need a, uh, another AOT or something like that, then as long as you already applied and you did the interviews, then you could come in at any time. But if you want to come with like pretty much the big group of people which come at the start of the year, then you would apply in the summer to come for March the following year. And you, I mean, it moves pretty quickly, I want to say. I mean, there was the wait until October, but then he just scheduled a um, full interview, which he just talked to me, you know, just like, oh, just like a few things, what you want to do. And then from there, he scheduled the actual interview, which was in December, where you have to dress up, you know, you go, then you have to give like a presentation of how you would teach, which they show you like a video or they give you a video of how to teach pretty much. If you follow those guidelines, to me, there's no way you're not going to get the job, you know, but if you're like uncomfortable with what you're doing, you know, or like in front of a crowd, even those people, they can still make it. But I don't, for, I don't know how they really choose people because sometimes there's people that you're like, wow, you really teach? You know, those are those kind of people like there was another guy like that I felt did better than him or whatever that I met now or sh her that I met now but he didn't get the job but she did like I wonder like like how do they do that but pretty much if you can stand in front because I had to do it in front of like a class of other people that was applying pretty much so if you can just go in there and you just give like an introduction you know if you know some Japanese you can give the jump the um, introduction in Japanese then you just go into like a little skit about what you teach in a class, which mine was like numbers, if I'm correct. Like they show you how to do numbers. You could take whatever they showed you or you can make it up yourself or whatever, as long as you, um, you know, as long as you're happy, you know, if you're not happy, if you look kind of sad or mopey, then you're probably not going to get it because no, no kids want to see a sad mopey person. They probably are. They, I mean, majority of them are already sad and mopey too. So, you know, that's, probably not going to get you the job, but you just go in and do that. I feel like as long as you're happy, if you just deliver what they, what they pretty much already gave you, cause you're just pretty much doing what they gave you, then you're good. You're good to go. And then in December, they tell me like, Oh, you got it, you know? And then, um, by March, then you're able to ship out, you know, there's some stuff you have to do, you know, like obviously give them stuff like your passport numbers and stuff like that, you know, obviously because you're coming abroad and, and probably some things you have to fill out for, you know, actually getting a job and coming to Japan, your visa and so forth. But like, I felt like that started moving quickly once you knew you got the job, you know, and then that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys want to apply right now, you can still apply. If there's any slots open, then you could probably still make the summer. But majority of that is probably already done by now because it's already December. But if anything, you could probably come like in the mid the in the middle of summer, you know, like maybe like July or something. Because generally the schools open in like March, you know, or like in August. I think there was some people that started in August, which is like would be the next term. August we had off September, yeah. So then you would just come in September and then you can just start working so depending on what you want to do you know just look it up at a certain time if you're in school right now um, you can still apply to come like in like September because generally like schools in America we graduated in like June July so obviously coming in March is not a thing you could do but if you're trying to come in like say like September then you could probably start applying now you know so I'll put the website to interact below just in case anybody wants to know about it. And then I'll also put the one for Jed if I can figure that one out because it's been years since I looked at that. 
And then even some of the other ones like um, GABA, NOVA, and so forth, just in case anybody wants to apply to any of those too. And that's pretty much it. See you guys next time. Bye.